Alright guys, so it's been a while since I've done a uh, layout update. Um, a lot of things have changed. Um, a smaller part of the layout, not the full layout yet, as you can still see the pink foam is still showing. But hey, look, there's paint. Something improved. Um, anyways, I apologize if I sound clogged up and uh, not my usual self. I actually have a cold or I don't know, I think it's just allergies. But uh, anyways, um, if I'm a little light on my voice or, you know, miss some words, I apologize. I'm not really feeling too good. But um, anyways, I found some time to work on my layout the past few weeks. And as you can see, yeah, there's a lot of paintbrushes, a lot of paint. You don't see any track, you don't see any train locomotives, to clear that all off. I've been trying to plan some mountains, trying to plan some sea structures. And uh, this part of the layout I've been using, just restoring stuff right now. In fact, most of my trains are upstairs in boxes, and these are a few of them down here. But anyways, as I pan over, you can see some structures. Sorry for the camera shaking. You know, I was just fooling around with some scenery and some uh, cars, but I purchased a few buildings off of uh, eBay. Got some silos for grain and cement and some houses and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I just painted a little sample. Cement for like a parking lot for like a building. And um, I didn't even have these buildings here before. I just kind of, you know, painted some grass, some roads, some dirt area put the truck in between there so I'm probably gonna work on getting that uh, pave it cement by Woodland Scenics actually make the road look a little bit better then again with the foam actually kind of makes it a little bit rougher like little potholes and stuff so it's kind of cool but I do plan on putting like you know grass and scenery down and you know everything like that but this is just a demo of uh, what I'm gonna do first um, anyways these uh, buildings are just scattered around got some trucks and uh, some little decals. I don't know if you can see here, but right beyond the Genset locomotive actually came in today. Um, I have a little red box, which no one's probably going to go to because it's in a sketchy little warehouse in the middle of nowhere. But um, anyways, this locomotive, um, the Genset 1301, just arrived today in the mail. Um, I didn't want to buy it. I think it came out three or four years ago. I didn't really want to buy it new because it cost like 130 bucks new. So I got this one for like 65 bucks off eBay, which wasn't too bad. Um, I also got a few more vending machines over here. As you can see, behind the little CXX minivan, you got the Coke and the Pepsi. Little kid on a bench, employee entrance, a few trucks laying around. You know, some dolphin poles, just something to add some detail, you know. Oh, this is probably gonna be permanent, but uh, I just wanted to see how it looked without the pink foam there. Even you can still see a little bit of it, but um, yeah. So I've done some um, building plans. Basically, I do plan for this area to be a little industrial area, park, um, cement factory, grain area, uh, warehouse supplies, and over in the middle here, maybe a little bit, a little bit of a town, a few houses. Um, you know, two tracks going all the way on the outside of the layout. And over here, another city in this area. Some more houses and a mountain with some uh, animals and, you know, you know, just different areas. Maybe some ponds, lakes, uh, wooden farms. I don't really know yet. Solar panels. Who knows? Anything's possible. Um, I really don't have a clear mindset on what, what's going where, but I'm trying to work on that now. Um, probably you have to take all this stuff down and finish painting it and then map the tracks, but... Um, I pretty much have my set map plan for the tracks, which is uh, right here. Let's see. Let's see, as I point over here to the left, I uh, have the city, the like industrial area, a siding for the industrial area, the main track going around the outside of layout. Uh, this would be where the mountain is. Maybe a little covered bridge, some uh, roads going in between the towns. And, uh, you know, something more to do. Uh, so far, this layout is DC. I'm not sure if in the future we're going to do DCC to actually have sound. That would be neat. But um, hopefully I'll be able to actually hook up some more lights to these buildings. Make it actually look a little bit more alive and real. Um, as far as rolling stock and locomotives go, you know, again, I try not to buy new stuff because there's plenty of used, decent uh, stuff in good condition that you can get for a lot cheaper instead of buying them brand new. For example... I believe Cato just came out with one of their new Amtrak P42 locomotives with like ditch lights, or well not ditch lights, but you know, the red 
backlights and everything on it for DCC. And uh, some guy was selling two of the Atherin P40s, and this one's missing a window, but that's pretty much it. Um, their number is 134 and 204. The lights don't work, but they run smooth and very nice. So um, I'll probably make these locomotives to the Lakeshore Limit or something like that, but these will be the first Amtrak locomotives I have other than the F40. So it should be nice to run around on the layout. Once it gets up and running, they're pretty nice locomotives, being old and used for about three years. Um, as far as I know, that CXX locomotive is brand new out of the box. Just got it for a lower price since it's gone down. Um, I have been doing some weathering. These are some of the box cars I've been doing. You know, not my best job. And uh, probably my most favorite weathered car yet is FG Salt Cold Reefer. Again, not too much graffiti, a rather light weathering job on this one, but yeah. And um, also this Atlas Train Man GP40-2. Took a dive off the layout about three months ago. I uh, broke the whole front plow and a couple of railings and you know, yeah, the whole top comes off now. It's not too good. This is my first look I've ever got. My dad gave it to me for my birthday. And, uh, you know, I actually weathered it and put some graffiti on it. It doesn't look that bad, so maybe I'll get a new plow and this thing will be back up and running. Because it runs fine, just has some minor exterior detail flaws. So, let's get that working again. I'm trying to think of anything else that needs to be shown. Um, yeah, so as far as that goes, I really just need to focus on painting the layout. Um, getting a few more buildings done, possibly hook... Uh, well, not hooking up, but trying to get, like, um, 